Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 23rd of 2022, well, it is titled the Bubble Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is a Hubble Space Telescope image which shows a, the, a massive bubble in space. Now, what forms the massive bubble is actually an extremely massive star, about 50 times the mass of our sun, and is a star classified as an O-type. And O-type are among the hottest and most massive stars that exist. And because they are so much hotter and so much more massive, they're producing a lot more energy and they are pushing out a lot more material so they can be unstable in that their outer layers are being expelled outward into space. And that's kind of what we're seeing here is these outer layers expand outward and expand outward at different rates. So some of them are pushing uh, into areas that have less material and expand out quickly. Others are expanding into denser materials and we can see the intense shock waves on the left hand side for example where there's perhaps some denser material into which these are pushing. Now these stars are also stars that do not live for a very long time. So it's eventually possibly the type of star that will become a supernova and will explode outward, destroying the entire bubble that we see here. But in the meantime, we get to see the bubble expanding outward into space at a very slow rate from our point of view, that it seems to take a long time for it to occur, even though the material is expanding outward at a very, very uh, fast rate. So it's not that we cannot that we see it because of the immense distances that it is covering. In this case, the bubble is seven light years in diameter. So while it may seem like it, it moves very slow because we're watching it and the time scales are just so long because the distances are so large and things don't appear to move very quickly in space, even though they are really moving very fast overall. It is simply the immense distances that they have to travel, uh, which means that watching it takes much longer than a human life. So we would never be able to see most of things like this eventually reach their end, which in this case likely will be when it expands and eventually becomes a supernova, which will the star will explode and disrupt the entire rest of the nebula, giving us a supernova remnant. So that was our picture of the day for March 23rd of 2022. It was titled The Bubble Nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.